Hi, lovely family. So this is one oat recipe I tried and I enjoyed the oat snack. As you can see from my expression, it was super nice. And Charlie, before I realize, I made you. So you just need eggs, you need carrots, you need onion, you need tuna chunks, you need oats, you need some salt and spice. And so what you want to begin by is to get two cups of blended oats. Yes, so your normal oats, you just blend it. You're going to get it powdered. Then you need one cup of chopped or grated carrots. Grated is the best. Then you just need a bit of chopped onion. Just one medium size is okay. Then you mix it with your salt and spice in there as well. So this recipe um, is great. It's a great snack. You can eat any time of the day, any day you want to. And it's great when you're checking your weight because you still need to eat, but you just want to eat in moderation and eat more healthy and fortified. Then I added in the tuna chunks or tuna, yes, tuna flakes in there as well. Then I mixed it together. You can use corned beef. You can use any protein of your choice, whether sausage, any protein of your choice, you can use it in there as well. Then once I'm done, I just create a hole in the middle. Then I crack two eggs in there. Then I'm going to continue by mixing it up. Then till everything comes together beautifully. You don't need water in there. The eggs is your moisture in. Your eggs is what is going to help you bind the whole mixture together. So this is one like simple recipe you really, really, really have to try it. It's more like an, should I say old balls or something, but I did a flatter to help it cook properly. You want the inside to be well cooked. So yes, do mold the mixture into balls. Then you can use your palms to just flatten it out and then get your circular shapes as well. If your hands are, if it's sticking to your hands too much, you can use some oil in there, grease your hand with oil or margarine or something to help it not stick into your hand. So Keep your spatula around to, to help you with cleaning your palms as well as you do the mold in there as well. Don't make sure that at least your your onion, your carrots, they are all in because they're going to give it that special taste. If you use corned beef, it tastes super nicer. Yes, I tried it with corned beef. It's super nicer in there. But you can also use a fish, which is also healthy and also nice. So once you've molded this, please mold this before you start frying. Don't start frying before you mold, else you choose ah, one more bra. <laughs> so once you're done, yes, you just want to set this aside. Then you can heat your oil up. Then you fry it up. Yes. So uh, you can do shallow fry is not the best. Deep fry is the best for this. So yes, I use some um, granite oil. That's why it's foaming here. And you can also use coconut oil to make it taste good as well. Yes, so I'd recommend these two oils. But any type of oil you have, you can fry with it. It's still going to come out good. But I fried with granite oil, and that's why it has a lot of foam. You may get a bit of foam as well if you're using um, coconut oil. But this is pure granite oil, um, um, not processed. So once this is cooking, you want to make sure you get golden brown in the I recommend once your oil is heated and it goes in, reduce it to your lowest heat and let it cook over low heat so that it gets crunchy and the inside also gets cooked. And as it's frying, you do well to be turning both sides of it so that one side doesn't cook more than the other side or it doesn't look more brown at one side than the other. So this is the simple tricks to going about frying these old balls or old cracks or old snack how you want to call it me myself i don't know how to call it maybe you can give me a name in the comment section let me know how you want us to call it yes yeah, so when it's golden brown you can use the, the toothpick to just pick in and see whether the inside is also cooked once the inside the stick comes out and it's dry that means the inside is also well done then you can use your strainer to just pick it off or your colander to pick everything out of it then you fry the rest as well so this is a simple simple like easy peasy um old snack recipe you just make the bolts you fry it and make sure that um it's golden brown yes do it over low heat so that it cooks properly and don't be like one part is cooked the other part is not cooked in there and don't be eating your oats boring it shouldn't always be porridge every day and upper oats and upper oats same style same way there be i am also same kaka you see that vibe <laughs> so yes you can eat oats in varied ways and this is one crunchy 
oat snack recipe I really want every Ghanaian home to try. Then I served this with some mayonnaise. Yes, so this has a bit of, you know, mayonnaise, a good mayonnaise has a bit of oil, it has um, egg, and then it has some vinegar in. So that gives it that kicky, acidic taste in there because this is a bit dried. You can't eat just dry, dry like that. So the mayo makes it super tasty and nice. Yeah, so get some good correct mayonnaise. Don't go and buy any yawa yawa mayonnaise. <laughs> yes, because the acidic taste also makes it feel good. And it's just yummy. Like, I enjoyed it. Before I realized, I'd eaten three on the spot. And within the next one, uh, the rest were condemned. So do give this recipe a try. Let me know how yours goes. And then, till I see the next food video, do live life to the fullest, be joyous, be merry, and do make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Mwah.